Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So we have uh, what was an uptrend last week, and uh, it is now below the moving averages and oscillators grip the downside. So this is a, a sign of confusion again. So above and below the moving averages, and I think this inverse head and shoulders that we've had here, uh, which is double shoulder, double head, shoulder, uh, it's starting to sort of turn out to be nothing at the moment. So not really keen on tracing that anymore. You know, was really relatively keen here, but with uh, Friday's little bit of move down and we didn't continue, I would have expected us. You know, so the pullback to be expected, people taking profit, but uh, the continuation was not something I was expecting. So anyway, situation we have at the moment is uh, we've broken through this level again to the downside, that's 13,400. Uh, oscillators are gripped the downside, cautious of chasing shorts down here. Uh, I would be looking for a rejection of something higher up. And I'm just going to fine tune this onto that swing, onto the swing low here. And that is 13.445. You start dropping down through the time frames and you start seeing um, an interesting picture. So firstly on the three hour we've got crossovers. We have not tested the break of the 155, so the trend is not confirmed for me. Um, in other words, trend reversal to the downside. Oscillators group to the downside. I'm really reluctant to be chasing shorts at this area here. And uh, if you look to the left, there is potentially a lot of support here. Uh, this is kind of the area I'd be looking at 13,126, 13,100 would probably be the area to be paying attention to. When the oscillators group like that, you definitely don't want to be chasing shorts over here. If we start dropping down to the time frame, you can see the hour gives us a complete different picture. Oscillator is starting to move off the bottom and uh, it does look like another leg down. And the big question is where is that leg down off and what does it look like? This is the only thing I can see that's worthwhile and that is a rejection of 13.257, and then you're looking for 13.126. So I would be reluctant to be chasing this because realistically, 65 point gain or 90 odd point, sorry, 65 point risk to a 90 point gain. That's reasonable, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot more available um, later on in, in the week. So uh, at the moment, I think we're going to probably consolidate here a bit. So these are the two areas we probably consolidate between. If we get down to 15 minutes. I want to see well, what kind of opportunities we had yesterday. Not that I was watching this yesterday, but that was a swing low above it. There's the first rejection before the market open, and there's the market open rejection. Definitely an opportunity here. 100 point stop loss for 144 point gain. So that's kind of the view we've got at the moment. There's nothing else on the 15 minute that's going to assist. So this is the rejection area you're looking for, 13257. You're looking for inside bars, pin bars, engulfing bars on that level. And you're aiming for 13126. And if I just go to the weekly... There is a weekly level here as well at 12.876. But look at the oscillators pointing to the upside. So I would expect us to be finding support somewhere, somewhere in this area that I've given you uh, for another leg up uh, or at least an attempt at one up. So that was a tweezer bottom, first leg up, pullback, second leg up. And the last thing I'm going to do here is just see where the Fibonacci levels are. And Fibonacci levels are on the top of the tweezer bottom. So that could be a very interesting setup as well. There's the 50%, and there's the 60%, 61.8%. 
So, yeah, I think be careful here, guys. Be very careful. I wouldn't be wanting to to pick up any shorts at the moment. Uh, not when we're looking like that on the eight hour with the oscillators. So very reluctant for picking up shorts at the moment. Um, also very reluctant to pick up any longs. There's no structure for longs. The only thing that I can see if you come back to 15 minute is a, a break and retest of this area 13257. Then the only bit of resistance we're gonna hit is up there. If we clear that, that's at 13317. If we clear that, then you're looking at that area there at 13416. Um, and possibly just aim for the 155 EMA, which would be 13369. So, um, yeah, that's set up both ways. And I think whenever you get set up both ways, you need to be very cautious. So treat this little area as a range. I treat this as a range. So break and retest of 13257. Then you're looking at 13317. And then you're looking at 13369. Uh, a rejection of this area, we call, call it top of range. And there you're going to be looking at inside bars, engulfing bars, pin bars. You want a quick entry at the break of that, tight stop loss. And then you're looking at this 50% Fibonacci which is kind of the bottom of what that range is. Um, and this is going to be at around 13,169. 13, yeah, 13,170 is what you'd be looking at as a downside target. Anyway, so uh, same as the Dow for me. I am not interested in this. I want to see a little bit more structure before jumping into this and everything is looking like some kind of a leg down but i'm not convinced at the moment so probably more likely a, a range that's going to form before we decide which direction we're going in uh, for shorts for me on the hour they need to be a rejection much higher up uh, not down here uh, that's kind of my view anyway hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now